Alright, put a uniform for a first pass. Changed out bars because we started picking up the uh, harmonics there from uh, the continuous cut around. We do have a full cut uh, pattern now. Still a little chatter. That's taking uh, 25 aside right there. Uh, this is what you really want to see when you get down close and 395 to 395 and we're going to 2441 about 25,000 more to go per side and that's the shape of my hole right now I'm a happy camper this is what it looks like on the inside of course I can't roll it all the way around Couple little tiny holidays right in there. We got to kiss this flat on this face here and we got to take off the height over here. We're going to take one more skim on the bore and then we're going to work both ends. Then we're going to come back and we'll do the finished size after we're all square on both faces. All right, we got a tool bit set up in here and we got it uh, angled into there so we can come in, touch, and then we're going to take a straight out cut. All we want to do is make sure we have a straight landing that uh, kisses the majority of the face there and then we'll hand grind into that flat uh, just so that we have a square on the uh, edge of the bore here to resemble original face. It was just a cast face but uh, you know we want, to, we want to make sure that he has the maximum room in there. We know it was rubbing when uh, uh, the thing was malfunctioning and we want it not to rub now. Okay, we're going to call that as our diameter or diameter of that face. Pretty close. There's a look at the inside. I'm uh, barely skimming all the way, it's starting to hit just a little cast right in that area. So um, that's uh, that's ground zero, I call it. This will be all rotary bird off in here. Now let's take care of the outside. This will all be just kind of like blended in with the sanding. It'll look just as it'll look better than the cast finish. put in two thousands. This surface right here is where the bearing cap goes and it should be set with uh, shim stock.
just bare minimum to take a clean cut on. Good. All right, let's go for our finished bore now. We're taking a uh, first cut here of our finished cuts to establish a diameter to dial to. We'll see how much we have left to take after this and decide uh, whether we're going to take it in one cut or two cuts. We got about nine to go. We're a half thousandths under. It's a good place to be. I'm gonna hit it with some paper. And I'm gonna I'm gonna break that chamfer right there and then hit it with some paper and uh, be good to go. Well, that little guy says that we took it. Right there, within a couple tenths. All right, we're just uh, clearing out this side of the brass built up into the tap holes and running a tap through this the last one. Now that we tapped out the holes, now we can take it out. <laughs> hey, it was a good thing we put it back in here to get it. That gave us a good hold down on, on the thing to work it. A little sanding. Good as gold. Well, we're all wrapped up on this job here, and I just I sanded off the inside in here, kind of dress that off. All the sharp edges are gone. Holes are tapped out. You saw that in the lathe there. <coughs> and uh, I'm happy with the uh, press fit. It, 
this is egg shaped so but I've had it hammered halfway in and uh, tapped it out and it's a good fit. Now if you are really scoped in on on the uh, the brass build up and the shot from the face there and you see that you basically got about 70 thousandths here here and here and you've got very little up here it's because of the mass of this item wrapped on three sides and very thin right here the amount of buildup in fact that brass actually comes all the way to here and then angles down to here so there's very little here that amount of brace brace draws just like weld does shrink this side right here and brought that cast into there okay and i've verified dimensions hole to center and everything else the hole is within five thousandths of this bolt pattern here uh, so it's just characteristics there's a lot of uh, braised jobs that I've done and I've known it from the past where it will draw in fact I actually have braised some bores and then cut out everything and back to cast it actually shrunk the cast back down to where the brass was removed except for a minute amount in one area or another. That's why I like to take a little bit more than you think you should take to start with. Well this is a fun job. Uh, it, it did take most of the day as far as when we started and when we were done. Uh, we had some uh, free time while it was cooling down when we had it blanketed and stuff like that. It's basically a six hour job is what I'll bill out on this uh, this job plus the brass rod there. I dumped a pound of uh, brazing rod into that and um, it's good to go. You can go put this thing together and his wheel will stand up straight now. <laughs> and it'll probably run a little smoother now. I, 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 he, t he stopped by today. He took, he, he took that souvenir race with him. Alright, get her done.